Maitreya was was uh, waiting. There's a story I remember of Maitreya. He was waiting on the Buddha to come. And the Buddha was coming, coming along, and he noticed that there was a puddle in the way. And the Buddha, of course, was oblivious. He was just going. And Maitreya looked around for something to put, put on the puddle. There wasn't anything. So he laid down in the puddle, and the Buddha walked over him. And the Buddha said, from here you will be my chief disciple. So Maitreya, Maitreya was embodied as, uh, as Krishna, and that was his last embodiment. And he's, he's following in the footsteps of his, his guru, his teacher, the Buddha. And that's, that's, that's what it is. He, he was the cosmic Christ. But, you know, like so many other things, these are, these are offices and not the people in them. Or not the beings in them, as I as I say. He's yellow ray. Basically, working as as the cosmic Christ. He's been, he was the one that Jesus was talking to when he said, "My Father." You know, Maitreya was. Maitreya. What there? The, one of the misconceptions is, you know, there shall be only one God. Yeah, there is only one God, of course. But then there are gods too. From our standpoint, the ascended masters and cosmic beings are gods, you know, because they can do things we can't do. So there's not that's there's no blasphemy in recognizing that there are gods and God. And that's where the, the Christians kind of went astray, as they didn't understand this. They borrowed all the pagan holidays, like Christmas for one, uh, but they they didn't borrow the idea of the gods because they felt it was blasphemy. Well, unfortunately, they eliminated the idea of anyone becoming a god. They placed Jesus on a pedestal when he was saying, this which, you, which I do, you will do an even greater. He wasn't putting himself on a pedestal. He was just showing us what to do. Maitreya moved up, along with the Buddha and everybody else. So, and who became the Mahachohan? The Mahachohan is... Uh, was embodied as Homer, the present Mahachohan. Paul the Venetian will be the next Mahachohan. See, he's, this is a pink ray. To be a Manu, a Manu is a lawgiver, you have to be on the blue ray. To be a world teacher or Christ, cosmic Christ, you have to be on the yellow ray. To be a Mahachohan or to be a Holy Spirit aspect, you have to be on the pink ray. So this is this is a, a an office that is ray specific. Gautama Buddha is on the yellow ray, but he is Lord of the world. I don't think it has to be any specific thing. Probably one of the three, though. And we all have major rays. We all have a major ray and a minor ray, and we've all majored in various lifetimes on each of the rays. So, and we've all been male and female. It's all part of the plan that we will experience the whole thing and we will master all of the rays.